Sorry, so what's he complaining here, Brian? Okay, so what we have here, Butch, is, uh, uh oh, sorry about that. Ah, give me one second. Okay, so what we got here is that the lights are not coming on. The LEDs are not working on the left side and also the right side when you open the door. The two left, the two LED lights on the left are not coming on, and the two LED right lights on the right. The only and also the lights above it that's in the ceiling on the right side are not coming on. The only lights that are coming on are the lights that's up under the ice maker. And and the bottom drawer light is on. The the very bottom drawer in the fresh food section. Okay. Now, I didn't check in the freezer though, but I don't know if there are lights in the freezer. Yeah. I'll open that freezer drawer and see what happens. Yeah, no lights in the freezer either. But she said what happened, it started flickering last night. No, a couple nights ago. Oh, a couple nights they started flickering and they went to bed. And when they woke up the next day and came over the refrigerator it uh then it it was the way we know it to be at the moment okay okay now there is an led driver in the back now uh just below the main control board okay um and that led driver sends the voltage out in three different uh sections okay um the, the section that's two lights in the ceiling there's another section that's the side lights, and then there's another section that's three lights in the ceiling and the freezer are together. So these are all in series, three different series of lights. Gotcha. So if you have no voltage coming off that driver, that would be just a bad driver. Okay. Now, if, uh, if these lights operate a lot like a Christmas tree. Okay. You know, if you see a Christmas bulb, now it's on your Christmas tree. And you, and of course, the rest of the strand is usually still on, but just a burnout bulb. Got you. When you. go to remove that bulb, then the rest of the strand goes out. Got you. That's about like these are. Okay. So if we got a, either a bad connection, a loose wire, or something like that, or possibly a, a bad module, that could, yeah, any one of these could cause it. Okay. Okay. So, Really okay. Checking connections would be the first thing, especially since they did see it flickering first. Okay. Okay. So I would really, you know, just disconnect them one at a time. Really look at the pins on the module. Look at the wires. You know, that plug into the little light. Make sure everything, no loose wires or anything backing out, because just one of them can cause the rest of them to go bad, to go out. Okay, so you're basically saying that it could be a module, which is um, which is pretty much uh, now. This is under warranty, right? So, well, I know you don't know that, but it is under warranty. Is. So, okay. so what it is is um, what I'm trying to see was to go after the lights or the module because the warranty they're just gonna want to cover the whole thing pretty much. Well, what I would do first thing first is get to that LED driver and see if there's voltage leaving it. Okay. And it's a low DC voltage coming out of that. There's 120 coming in. Okay. And then there's, you know, pins one and two go to one series, three and four go to another, five and six go to the next. Okay. Okay. So, and like I said, you got now, if you got low DC voltage coming out, of course, leave it plugged in when you check your voltage. Always best to have it out under a load. Okay. With the door open, obviously. Okay. And see if the problem's in the driver. But I'm thinking more of connection issue, mainly because they saw them flickering. Got you. Okay. So if so, if it's a connection issue, that's going to be at the connection where it connects to the board more than likely, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. On the on the little light module itself. Got you. Oh, yeah, I see. Now, now, uh, now, is that going to indicate the light module, or is it a certain pin that I need to look for? Well, it's kind of hard to say. Oh, okay, okay. It's really not that consistent on our end. On <laughs> okay. Which one's pausing it? It's going to be one or the other. Okay, got gotcha. you. Know? Okay. 
Okay, yeah, so so yeah, I get your point. You're saying if, if it was a bulb, usually it won't flicker, it just goes out. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it makes sense. Okay. So um okay, we'll go back to that. Um let me ask you this. Those those modules there, do do you have any part numbers for that what you can what I can write down? Oh. Sure down okay. Okay, all right. But the connections are on the board itself, right? Yes, and right on the back of the uh, the light itself. You know, pull that light out and just disconnect the little Molex plug on the back of it. Correct. And just, just look for any broken pins, any gotcha. wipers, anything like that. Okay. Okay, now, now did you say the left and the right are two separate modules? I mean, uh, I mean for, the, for the right side of the fridge and the left side of the fridge? Yeah, the left and right side are all coming off of one bank of, off of that LED okay. driver. Okay, I'll go. I'll go look for that. Okay, yeah. that'll do it. We'll, right, we'll, 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 we'll. I think we could take it from here. All right, good deal. Call us back. We can help you, Brian. You have a great day. You too. Thanks. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye.